Hi everyone, I'm Wilson. I'm one of the developers of TreyPang2. Here, I've got the 2022 demo. It's coming out on June 13th, 2022 for Steam Next Fest. Today, I'm going to show off one of our new features. It's the Tmod Sandbox, and I'll be showing you how to make your own NPC wars. So first, you'll have to unlock Tmod. You'll have to do this by starting the game and beating the first level. Any difficulty is okay. If you want to play on easy, nobody's going to judge. If you want to skip this step and go straight to the NPC battles without even playing the campaign, uh, we'll be a little bit sad because uh, we did put a lot of work into it. But if you really want to, you can find the save file and instructions in the video description below. But okay, let me just run through the prologue level really quick. Okay, so we've just completed the prologue level, and we've now arrived at the safe house. So if you press escape and look at your cheats menu, you'll see there's a newly unlocked cheat called Enable Tmod. So let's click on that, and we don't care if it stops our progression and all that, we just want to do an NPC more. So hit apply, and go back to the game. Alright, now, so if you hold tab, the Tmod menu is going to show up. So you can do lots of fun stuff. You can change the time of day, so let's make it early morning. Cool. Alright, you can make things super fast if you want. Go fast and moving. Uh, you can make things super slow. But okay, let me change it back to default speed. But the coolest part is, you can spawn stuff. So here you can see the NPC factions we've got. We've also got guns and pickups. And if you click on them, it just spawns them at your crosshair. So let's spawn some NPCs. Let's go to Task Force 27. These guys are friendly, so they won't shoot at me. So I just look at somewhere, click on one of these buttons, and it will spawn the guy at my crosshair. So for advanced users, you can uncheck the checkbox for aim mode, and now I can click anywhere on screen and set that as my spawn point. So this is good for assembling an army really quickly. If I want to, I can set a spawn point and then look away, and it will still spawn at that spawn point. So there, I made a pile up of guys right there. So you can click, or sorry, you can press V for Victor to no clip. And this lets you fly around for those really cinematic shots. And you also don't collide with the world. So you can go through anything. You can even go to places you're not supposed to go to, like over here. And you can also toggle this by clicking the no clip button in the T-Mod menu. But, be careful while you're no-clipping. In certain areas, if you're no-clipping, you can end up into the back rooms. So take note of that, and watch where you no-clip into. So you can also order these guys around like an RTS game. So just go to the Command tab, under Modes, and I can left-click to drag select. So hold down the left-click and drag it, and I can create a selection box. So I've now selected these three guys. If I click anywhere, they'll move to it. If I double click, they'll run as fast as they can. Okay, so if I want to start a spawn battle right here, I could just spawn some horizon guys. And these guys don't like each other, so they'll start shooting at each other. Okay, but as you can see, that was pretty chaotic, and I didn't have much control over that. It's not the most interesting spawn battle. So I can actually coordinate something a little bit more organized. So first, uh, let me kill all NPCs to clear the scene. And let me hit clean up so I don't have a bunch of bodies and stuff lagging at my computer. So first, let's click on Disable AI. This way the AI won't start fighting each other, moving, or doing anything until I want them to. 
And let's hide the player so we don't have this gun blocking out our screen the whole time. And let's also turn on no target. So, yeah, they don't start shooting at me because I want them to just fight each other. And let's turn on god mode so I don't accidentally get myself killed. So we're almost ready. Oh, one last thing. Go to options, UI, and check all these UI boxes. This will make our UI completely hidden. So now we're just a floating camera. It's a very cinematic experience. So let's make an NPC battle. Let's put some Horizon guys here to defend this building. You can rotate, so you can choose the spawn rotation by moving the slider. So I want one guy guarding this window, and another guy here guarding this window. And let's put one guy guarding this door, and one guy guarding this door. So we've got one, two, three, four defenders. So let's spawn five Task Force 27 guys to take them out. One, two, three. And let's give them two shotgun guys. So that's five guys. So AI is disabled right now, but I can still give them commands. And once I enable the AI again, they'll start moving it, following their commands. And once they arrive at their destinations, the AI will take over and they'll start taking cover and doing all the, that cool stuff. So let's send these three guys to the front of the building right here. And then let's send these two shotgun guys as a distraction and go around the helipad. OK, so I think everybody's ready to go. I'll just click on Disable AI again so that AI gets enabled and these guys should start moving. Like the shotgun guys are going for the distraction. <laughs> see how things are going on in there. Well, that poor guy didn't really stand a chance. I think we've only got one survivor now. Eventually, these guys will rush into the building and take him out. All right, here they go. Oh, there we go. Got it. All right. So it looks like Task Force has won the day. The safe house is safe again. And Horizon Forces have been defeated. So good job, guys. Uh, we don't have fireworks, but we can call in an artillery strike to celebrate. All right. Nice work, guys. Okay, so you can use the T-Mod menu in any map, and turn any map into a spawn battle. So you can go into campaign levels, kill all the NPCs by clicking the Kill NPCs button, and then just spawn your own NPCs and have your own battle play out. Uh, so we have a combat simulator, which lets us play some horde maps here, inside the safe house. So I just walk right into here, access the combat simulator, and I can select any map, and hit go, and I'll start playing horde maps. Uh, but if I want the whole map to myself and just to use as my own spawn battle place, I just turn on sandbox mode. So now no NPCs will spawn, there's no horde battle, it's just an empty map with me and T-Mod. So I can just yeah, turn on all these cheats again, spawn some guys, and get them to fight each other. And turn this into my own personal spawn battle zone. So, anyways, I hope you guys have fun. Yeah, please give Team Out a try if you can. 
make your own crazy spawn battles.